Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Bases Loaded Lacquer, Murph, and Tropic of Cancer, and Marianne Nails Plate XXL6. Now I started off by applying Nail Teaks Formula 2 to my nails, and here is Braves Diva Murph. It's the same as Bases Loaded Lacquer, for those of you um, that have been around a minute. You'll know that there was a change in the name. But to me, they're bases loaded lacquer now, and um, I might call all of them bases loaded lacquer, no matter what's on the sticker. So I'm doing two coats of Murph, and this is just a really nice cream polish. It's just one of those that you could use under any kind of nail art. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. We're going to get this one to dry down. we got lots of playing to do today. And it's done in stages. This is the first one. Just getting my base color going. Capping my free edge there. And I'm going to let this dry down really well. There's a swatch photo of Murph on its own. This is Marianne Nails XXL6. And I've got a couple of images picked out. So I'm going to grab a couple of stampers. And On the Black by Bases Loaded. And my Maniology Scraper. Now I've got two images here that are the reverse image of each other. So I'm going to stamp them out onto my stampers. I'm going to do two accent nails today. I am trying to do better, not do just overboard for everything. Can't promise anything though. So here we go, getting the other one picked up. Had to wipe the plate clean, get it going again. So there we go, we're going to get that going and do our scrapey scrape and the pickup. There we go. I am using a little piece of tape to pull off anything that I don't want left on the stamper. Sorry I'm out of frame, but that's why I'm explaining what I'm doing. I do clean my stamping plate with pure acetone and then wipe it down with a paper towel. Today I'll be using these Outlast CoverGirl nails and this one is Sulphur Blaze. And this one here is Rogue Red. And then I also pulled out this purple, which is Violet Flicker. These are seriously old polishes. Today I'm just going to use my What's Up Nails Mermaid Zero brush to fill in these designs. So I'm doing the flower part of the image in purple. And then I'm going to do a red leaf and a yellow leaf to finish this one out. And I am going to show you all me doing both stampers because I'm just doing the two and it's not really intricate. So I decided to go ahead and share it. And I didn't put anything down like, um, like a clear coat or anything to stop smudging. I'm just trying to be very careful. If you feel like you're heavy handed like I am, you may want to put a coat of smudge free top coat or clear top coat over the image before you start drawing in these colors. I'm being real crazy with it today and just decided to just jump right on in. I love these um, CoverGirl polishes. I use them every fall, autumn. They've got to be used because they're like the perfect colors for, you know, doing leaves and nail designs. It's just so pretty. And so glittery and juicy and I love them and I am really liking this brush from What's Up Nails um, it's been working out really great for me like I said in previous videos sometimes I use a dotting tool sometimes I use a brush it just depends on what I'm feeling like that day so there we go beautiful looking pretty good all right, so I've got my liquid latex out because I am going to do a gradient. This is Murph, which is my base color. And then I'm also going to be using this one called Tropic of Cancer. Base is loaded lacquer. I got me a sponge out. I ended up cutting it down a little bit more. My nails are not that long or fat or anything, so I'm just using a little piece of that wedge. And I'm doing the Murph on both ends, and then I'm going to run that Tropic of Cancer in the middle. 
I don't know that I've ever done a manicure like this. I may have. It's been a while, though. But that way, you've got that base color at the top and the bottom. Look how opaque that is. That's just so good. Loving it. And you, when you do gradients, do them to your liking. I mean, if you... Oh, I got, some, oh, I got a piece of polished funk on there. Got to get that off there. Do them to your liking. Go over them until you're happy with the opacity and the look of your gradient. I mean, you might want some really strong colors. Or you might like it to be real wispy and light looking. Do it your way. Like a lot of people say, do you do you, you know? Um, I am going to go over this a couple of times. Two, three, four, maybe. I don't know. Just until I get happy with how it looks. And also remember that your gradient's going to smooth out when you put that top coat on it. It might look a little jagged at first, like right now, what mine's looking like. After you put that top coat on, it really smooths it out and blends those lines. And it just ugh, takes it over the top. And I'm really digging this gradient, though. So, so happy with it. Okay, so I'm starting over at the pinky because it wasn't as dark as the rest of them. I'll work my way back through. Da, 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 da. And I'm tilting it up and just kind of getting the tan down on the tips a little bit better. Tilting that sponge over. So there we go. I'm going to get this hair latex off of me and I'm do my cleanup. Fingers all up in your face. <laughs> all right. All right, so i got to get that glob off of there so I can go back after these little bitty pieces here. All right, so now we're going to get out our cleanup brush and our acetone and do our final cleanup here on this part. Cleanup is really important in my opinion. I like to do a really good job if I can because after I get that top coat on, it's over. So I'm going to top this gradient with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat again. You see how that just smooths it out and just uh, makes it so pretty. Such a pretty, pretty deal. All right. So here's a swatch photo of just the gradient. And now we're going to apply the decals. Now, I didn't apply any sticky base or anything to this one because everything was still kind of a little tacky. Everything was sticking well. This, the, You know, the decals weren't too dried out and crunchy and my base manicure with the gradient and everything was was still a little tacky not wet but tacky and I'm gonna go in with my cuticle tool and just trim off these extra little teeny bits right here on the edge get that off of me there we go all right more cleanup yay like I said I'm like the queen of, I, I, but I like to clean as I go that way when I'm done, I'm done, you know? That, and I think it's easier to clean up if you get it while it's still kind of wet or, you know, before it's bone dry. I mean, you don't have to scrub as hard. Alrighty. We're going to use the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat to go over these decals real quick. And make sure that they don't smear. Especially those little bitty black lines. I didn't want them smearing. And now I'm going to finish it off with Posh Top Coat. And I really, really enjoyed this one. I had so much fun playing and doing this manicure. And I really enjoyed looking at it too. <laughs> Ready for some fall colors. Oh, come on camera. Alright, so I am going to go over the other nails that didn't get decals with the same top coat. Just kind of, you know, add a little extra to it. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.